Good evening and welcome to Wednesday night. I'm Leanne Winston, Psychic Medium. I hope you've all had a really good week. I can't believe we're back to Wednesday again. Same thing each week. The week does get away from us and we are so close to Christmas as well. So just while I'm getting myself a little more organised here in the background, we will say hi to those that are popping in on the um, broadcast as well. So my mum's here watching already. We have the lovely Dee here. Hey Dee, how you going honey? Shalise is here. Hey hun, how you going as well? And the lovely Judy here watching at the same time so i hope you're all having a really good uh oops i'm getting warnings come up here i'm not too sure what's going on it looks like the broadcast was deleted from facebook and my time tv we will keep going i can see that people are still popping in uh, we've got tracy saying good evening and sharon is as well it seems there are people watching so i'm not too sure what's going on with the system it's called technology and uh, technology certainly has its own mind lately so um we've got nita here hi honey i'm doing really well and um merry christmas to you and your family as well we will get to cards or doing readings very shortly hey helen and we've got cyan here as well lynn is also here and Roz is here saying hi as my time tv so just before we do uh, get off to doing some readings I do ask people to help me spread the love by inviting your friends and family to join in as well. You never know when somebody will get a message or something that resonates with them um, by joining in. If you are watching from anywhere else, I am having trouble working out the cross-posting uh, side of it. So Rosal might have to get you to go through that with me at some stage. But I have shared the link to Leanne Winston Psychic Medium. So we aren't going to too many pages at the moment until I can get my head and make the time to get my head around uh, the cross-posting and the way that has changed as well, okay? So if I do, you do ask a question tonight, I do ask you to keep it straight to the point as well so I can try to get to as many of you as possible. Just before I do get, get, uh, get into the reading side of stuff, um, I should get my cards out as well. If you're interested in becoming a yearly member of mine, we do have a sale at the moment and as of the 1st of January it is going up to $197 a year so you can see the link above me at leannewinston.com forward slash become a uh, slash a slash member if you jump in there you can save yourself over a hundred dollars at the moment for the next 12 months so there's um that side of it as well as we are kicking off as of uh, the 7th of January, I think it is, the Soul Whisper uh, Lifetime Access as well. So if you find yourself being intuitive or you are very interested in learning more about this side of stuff, do jump over um, onto my Facebook page, Leanne Winston Psychic Medium, and check out the post there as well because that has a massive, I think it's about $400 saving on that program at the moment and that is until the 31st of Jul uh, December, sorry. Um, so if you want to join in on that, you can certainly can and I'd love to help uh, you grow and learn um along your pathway as well we've got the beautiful pam here saying hi beautiful lady hey honey how are you going um uh, so is saying oh we're getting into questions now um so and cyan is saying hi to Roz, and we have a beautiful hello there Anastasia is it so honey if I said that wrong and Ros is just saying howdy doody uh over here in the YouTube oh you're watching from YouTube today uh Ros thought I'd surprise you <laughs> you are too I have just noticed that as well and we have the lovely Dana here saying hi I am doing well thanks honey and what about yourself all right so just before we do jump into the readings I'd love to know how do I put this 
spirits that have been drawing me a little bit lately to doing the reflection side of stuff so i'd love to know what it is and how you look back on your life how do you take the time and process the year that you have been you have had because we've all had really trying times and it's certainly been a full-on year and there's been a lot of things going on and a lot of us are being tested on so many different levels at the moment some more than normal but i am or some more than others as well i'm a very big believer this year and feel very strongly that some of us are being tested on such a deep level to help us do the detoxing energetically wise in moving stuff so we can actually move forward next year and move into that light loving energy and do more what we're passionate about what we're meant to be doing doing things where we can help and support others so i'd love to know what it is that you've been feeling are you feeling that excitement or that energy building up into bigger things next year in that side of it have you been tested on levels that you haven't had or felt for a very long time because i've seen a few quite a few people this year being tested in ways that they've never been tested before all right so to me it's about detoxing it's about going back to the basics and rebuilding this year in that sense so learning how to nurture ourselves more so and move forward in a way that we need we need to serve ourselves rather than serve other people so it'd be really interesting to see sort of how you're finding things going what you're noticing moving um and see how it's been very different for you and i'd love to know where your mindset is are you thinking very much like you were five six months ago or are you having another are you have you got another way of looking at things because i know for myself i've been certainly seeing a lot of things differently this year so i'd love to know how how that's all coming along for you and we might actually bring the lovely sue up because i'd love to uh, know how well, I know how most of her year is, but I'd love to know how she's reflecting and uh, going on moving forward as well. Hey, honey, how are you going? Good, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Just trying to get my camera in the right spot. My red licorice is in the way. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Bring her back. Bring her back. <laughs> That's it. How's your It's been full. It's interesting that you're raising this topic because it the last, oh, I'd say couple of weeks, I keep putting out to try and manifest a week away to a retreat because um, I keep saying to my husband, I just want a week away by myself just to, regroup you know yeah. disconnect connect do you know what i mean yes so um, it's it's been a huge year yeah. um and for me i've been reflecting back and thinking it's time to declutter is one of the things for me um, yeah. and that's my my home environment very much so but yeah. also okay what don't i need after yes. this year what don't i need me personally in my head in my and and just let it wash away because it's done yeah and that's it and i love that fact that you say it's done because we can't hold on to everything because it creates yeah. blockages and it stops us from moving forward in the way we need to and i i know for myself i'm looking at things going do i really need that i thought i had this thought um or well, spirit keeps sort of giving me visions this last week of change coming and it's actually like i want to just pick up what's really important and move house and leave the rest behind sort of thing yeah. obviously we can't do that but yeah. literally <laughs> choose what we take in that side of it so it's really yeah. interesting yeah. how we are maybe we are being pushed to move forward in that lighter version not just energetically yeah. but the physically side of it as well so yeah, I do think so. I think um, becoming lighter and freer, not so bogged down and not heavy, yeah. you know, that, yeah. that weight and that, that hard work and that I'm, I'm ready for the hard work to be done, like finished. Oh, so true. Yeah, <laughs> I so get you there. 
next year I just have to learn. Um, yeah and so yeah. yeah and it's funny you say that because coming into this year I last year I was saying at the end of the year next year I'm going to work smarter not harder and obviously this year it has been hard work we've you know and it's everybody's feeling that I think on so many different levels yeah. but it has never felt so strong going into next year for me that it needs to be this is it it needs to be smarter yeah. not harder and sort of thing yeah. so picking yeah. where I'm putting my focus and what energy and stuff I am going on this Christmas lights beside behind me are yeah. going nuts they're not supposed to be I, flashing I I was going to say, you know, there's a disco happening. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I turned them on, I had them so they weren't flashing, but they <laughs> seem to decide they want to do their own thing, like most electrical things <laughs> in this <laughs> house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, there's nothing unusual in this room. I actually had my music box out for part of my paranormal investigation equipment and the the music box was going up today <laughs> without a battery even in it again so that's the that second time it's done that to me so you know spirits i would say is having fun again <laughs> i love them so yeah it's funny yeah. how things like that happen <laughs> yeah. so yeah, yeah. Well, are, you, are you feeling for next year um sense of excitement and anticipation how are you feeling about next year? yeah i oh, definitely i feel there's some really big things coming and i think it's going to be bigger yeah. than ever sort of thing so to me i feel there's a lot of change coming but on a, such a higher level sort of thing so I, I i'm at that point where i can't wait sort of thing it's like yes. let's get this year over i don't want to wish christmas fast that quickly but it's a feeling i just want to move into next year and like I'm even having thing like thoughts today, like it's not like me to sit down and plan things out, sort of thing. But today, when mm -hmm. I was in a meeting, I was writing a list of things I've got to do for that meeting or for that project. And it's like, start writing in the calendar, start setting things mm -hmm. out, start setting times for things. I'm going, well, hang on, this isn't me. I usually just throw things in where I can. <laughs> So it's quite different, but you know, I think yeah. that's the energy we're gonna have that more struct like that. I don't know if I call it structure, but more clarity probably around things yeah. is yeah. probably the better yeah. word to use. Yeah, and less chaotic. Oh yes, definitely. Yeah, has been a bit chaotic. Um, just, <laughs> yeah, just, it's gone that way, and there will be like things happening left, right, and center. I know for me, it's been that way but chaotic in a in a good way sometimes too but still chaotic you know and yeah. uh, I think I'm really keen for next year to there be more flow and more structure for me and yeah. planned and I can see what's coming rather than it just all yeah. tumbled in yeah, yeah that's yeah. it and I think it's like you just said about having more flow but structure and I honestly think we can have that flow and structure like last decade was very much about structure sort of thing and I think this year or well, this decade's very much about going with the flow but at the same time I think we are building a, a different sort of structure at the same time to build on in that side of it yeah. so it's going to be really interesting to sort of see what comes from that so I think a lot of us are being called to step yeah, up yeah. to help others next year so that's going to be interesting yes so, yeah and I, and I, I feel almost like um a child that's about to unwrap a present and I'm really excited because I think you know yeah. I'm going to get something really really that I wanted and I've been wanting <laughs> for a long time you know that type of <laughs> yeah exactly. I actually thought I was going to get that today but it didn't happen <laughs> but that's all good not meant just yet you were ready to get something today oh it's yeah. been giving me these visions all week yeah. and I thought today or tomorrow's the day but it it didn't go the way that I was being shown so it's quite interesting and of course then I'm going well why are you showing me it sort of thing if it's not going to happen so yeah. the day's not over yet so you never know what's going to happen <laughs> no. No, isn't no. that <laughs> so, hmm. but if it's going to be as big as they show me i'm looking forward to it <laughs> yeah 
Oh, I, I want to know now. <laughs> oh, well, I was being shown I'm going to have this um, mansion here in the hills and I was getting a phone call to do with the St. John's Lottery today, but that looking at the Facebook, oh. that definitely didn't happen. <laughs> but that's all good. <laughs> Some lucky winner won it. So, yeah. You I mean, it's, know. it's just really weird, but I think, like, I guess for me, then I go, well, okay, well, why are you showing me this spirit? What's the meaning in that sort of side of it? Mm. But, you know, things can go in a slightly different direction as well. So it's going to be interesting to see what comes out of it in that side of it. I was already planning my next holiday. <laughs> or my getaway. <laughs> so, so yeah, so it's going to be fun to see what comes from from the the visions, how they change or if they change in that way. So yeah, and it's and it is an interesting. It, it is interesting when we think, okay, why am I getting this message? But I'm not. It's not eventuating. Yeah. Is it for that specific thing to stir something in me? That's in it. preparation for something else. It's really, yeah. yeah. Well, it's certainly then, stirred stuff up. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I think, okay, is it, um, <laughs> do you, like sometimes I wonder, like I second guess myself, did I, yeah. did I read that right, you know? Mm. And, yeah. yeah. And then we and, also and question. reveal themselves. That's it. And sometimes we can question ourselves, do we want to think that sort of thing? So, you know, I'm a big believer in trust and surrender. It will be what it's going to be. So it's going to yeah. be interesting. Yeah, beautiful. Anyway, Han, did you have yeah. a question you would like to ask? Um, I'm, I get a strong sense that, you know, there are a couple of big projects that are, going to come together next year and you know it's a bit like that it's like is it is it my wishing it or is is it you know the reality of it um and so my question is um yes you have confirmed in the past that there are some big things coming up for me yeah um my question is in what you know, how is it going to show up and what areas of my work is it going to show up? Yeah, okay. Well, I pulled two cards and when you said that, the first, in what area is it going to show up or how is it going to show up? Uh, the first one is very much to do with the paperwork, the contract side of it. So to me, I get the reference to something else that's coming to end. What is it? Um, so this is more paper form. So to me, I want to say it's coming through in like a, a contract side of things. So something else is coming to an end that's got a new beginning and it's kind of coming in the form of a writing. So I get the reference to look at um, a new project that's going to have like a contract or something very much set out in the, the formal way of that side of it. So, and I get the reference to it, it's going to be the center of your universe sort of thing. So, to me, um, the house, the center, I'm very much drawn to the center. It's all going to align in the right timing. Okay. I'm actually drawn to the number four on that card as well. So, I'm wondering what's going to come through around April in that way. Okay. So to me, it's the notifications going to come. You were breaking early. up, honey, so I didn't. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So to me, it's all going to be based around the contract side of it. So it's going to um, have the paperwork, the official paperwork, through to it, and I get the reference to it. it's all going to align itself. Um, it's going to be the the center focus. Okay. And I'm, I'm very much drawn to the number four being around April that it's going to come through okay oh. so to me it feels big it feels yeah. structured sort of thing so i get the reference to it. it's going to have contracts attached to it so do you do much with contracts at the moment um uh, no but that is what i've been getting um a really strong sense and the number three that it's three contracts ah beautiful um, has been coming up for me for next year yep well, my feeling and, and is even this the figures, um, yep. and I, you know, again, it's, uh, sorry. 
my feeling is it's going one of them's going to be quite big and i feel like i'm focused around april with that so exciting times Okay, I'm freezing. Or Sorry, I'm probably, I, I, I'm not catching. Uh, um, my feeling is it's around April. The focus is going to be around April and it's going to be quite big. Okay, we seem to be having some internet issues. Am I freezing on your end, Tom? Sorry, I, I'm, you're freezing and, and breaking up the sound, so I'm, I'm not catching everything, but I'll, I'll catch it on the replay, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe there's some internet issues or something. So, all oh, right. I'm freezing on mine, so it could be me. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. But I'm very much drawn around the contract and around it being big and being around April. So look what comes up for April. Okay. Okay. All right, but yeah, catch yeah. the replay for a bit because, more. Because um, <laughs> <laughs> you're fine on everyone else's end. It looks like it's me. Yeah, it sounds like it. So <laughs> that's all good. All right, honey. Well, I will leave it with you, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for joining Thank us. You. All right. Thank you. Bye, honey. Take care. All right. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, everyone, for letting me know that um, what's going on on your side. So beautiful. So let's bring the lovely D up. She's next in line. Hey, honey. How are you going? Oops. Hang on. Let me unmute you. There we go. There we I'm a lot better now. now. You're a lot better. What's been going on? Um, we were pressured into lowering the price of our house after a week on the market. That didn't take long oh, for him to pressure you? No, um, he focused on me and pressured me and I gave in. Okay. And then um, the real estate down in Gladstone pressured me as well. And I've been feeling really lost, not knowing what was going to happen. And then today I turned around and said, you know what, no, I don't like this. So um, I've just turned around and said, well, look, if we've got a contract on the house, we do. If we don't, guess what? Take your house and you know what you can do with your house. <laughs> yep. And as soon as I basically said that to our solicitor, yep. um, she agreed and I said, I'm not going to lower the price of our house anymore just to keep this house in Gladstone. Yep. And um, I looked online and there were a couple of houses in another suburb of Gladstone and I showed my husband and I said, you know, we can get a four-bedroom house and rada rada. Yep. And as soon as I said that to her and I said, no, I'm not doing it anymore. If he wants to forfeit the contract, that's fine. Yep. Um, I don't feel sad about it. I still feel like we're moving. Yep. Definitely. And I felt like this huge weight had lifted off my shoulders. Yep. Beautiful. So, and uh, it seems a bit weird that they are pushing you to reduce the price so quickly from putting it on the market. I could understand if it had been there a month or six weeks or even longer, but a week just seems a little bit too soon to be yeah, able to he do just it. Said, he just kept pressuring us, just saying, you know, like um, everyone that's come through the house um, thinks it's immaculate. They yeah. think it's wonderful. You're doing a brilliant job with presentation, but. It's not worth three eighty. Um, the amount that you're wanting, they'll only pay three eighty. But no one's put offers in. Um, I'd reduce it by twenty thousand if I was you, and really put the pressure on. And I went, oh, you know, we've got to have this other contract by the fourth. Yeah. So we did it, and that upset me. And then I got a text from the solicitor, uh, the real estate down in Gladstone, saying, you know. Um, He'll only bring the price down fifteen hundred for repairs instead of four thousand. Even though there's a lot of repairs, he won't do anything about the termites. Yeah. Oops. I'm not sure if I'm freezing or you're freezing there, honey. Sorry, and I missed that last bit. As I heard termites. Yeah, he um, the termites near the shed. Oh, okay. So um, he's saying it's in the fence line, not the shed. Um, and I just said, you know, $1,500 isn't much. 
and um, it's just a joke. And I just feel pressure. And she's saying, oh, you, you know, the house prices down here have gone up. And she's pressuring me as well, the real estate down there, yeah. that you'll lose the contract and everything. And then when I just faced it, you know what, if I lose the contract, I do. Yeah. I felt this huge weight lift off my thing. And then my gut turned around and said, you know what, you're still going to go down there. Yeah. But that's not going to be the house you're going to end up in. You're going to end up in another house. So Am I right? The right one will come along. I always say trust your instincts. So um, mm. I like the fact that you've set your boundaries. So well done on that. But well done also on going with the flow because what you're doing is you're surrendering. You're not trying to control that energy. You're allowing it to move through in the way it needs to. So my feeling is if it's not this house, it's going to be bigger and better. Like you've already said, you can see a four-bedroom house. So obviously there's other houses out there that have yeah. more value in it than what it is that you're looking like you had a contract signed on it. So if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. I'm a big believer in everything. If it's meant to be, it's going to fall into place. But I do get yeah. that. You're definitely going to be in Gladstone, without a doubt. So um, yeah, my feeling is... Feeling is we're still going there, whereas before this... Like a week ago, I thought, oh, God, we're going to get stuck up here. This is going wrong. I felt lost. Yeah. My feeling is he's going to go away because you've put that hardware on and you've set that boundary now. He's going to go away and he'll come back with another offer sort mm. of thing on on that, like the house that you want to buy. So he'll reassess. Because my feeling is he wants to sell. He needs to sell. I think he does, but I can't see us getting a contract on our house in Cairns by the 4th of January because everything's shutting down this Friday. Yeah. So, There's no open houses. Um, the real estate's shutting down. It's only private viewing up until January. And when I said, you know, we're not going to get a contract by the 4th, I'm not going to ask for an extension, I felt relieved. Yeah. So because we're going to be... It, we're going to be extending ourselves by dropping our price just to get a the house down yeah, there. That's it. So stick to your guns. Yeah. My feeling is he's got nobody else interested in the house. So I want to say you're probably the most um, solid offer that he has had in in yeah. that that house in Gladstone. So stick to your yeah. guns. Stay with it. And I always say trust your instincts. Yeah, because my husband still hasn't got a job offer down there. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's got to come up as well. And I'm like, well. It's timing. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, you, like you said, people are winding down for Christmas. So not too many mm -hmm. people are going to be employing over the next couple of weeks, two to three weeks with that side of it. So just be, in the, be present. See yourself in the house, you know, you have your dream house where you want to be and see that job offer coming through so you're helping move that energy rather than questioning is it going to happen and that stuff because when yeah. we do that we create that unsettled energy which yeah. sort of throws things out so keep that clear mind of that that bigger picture that you're working towards and focus yeah. on that it will happen yeah because it's very scary because there's not many jobs down there for him but all the jobs that are suitable for me but i've got a home school so i can't do it yeah. So um can he yeah. homeschool school? I homeschool my grandson. I'm in full custody now of my grandson. Yep. Can your husband take over that role if you had to go out to work? No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. And I'm loving it too much. <laughs> That's fair enough. So I um, am loving it. Oh, sorry, we've got freezing problems again and that so but no he couldn't do it yeah. not the home school yeah. yeah but yeah that's that's all I was wondering am I we still on the path to move to Gladstone will he still get a job and will we still get a house up down yeah, there definitely can. I don't want to end up homeless. no you won't end up homeless so my feeling is it's all going to happen in the right time okay yep all right honey okay. what are your thoughts okay all right. Well, Thank thanks you. for joining in tonight and you take care and I'll talk to you very soon. Okay. Bye. You take care and I love you. Oh, thank you, honey. Take care. Bye. Bye.
Oh, beautiful energy. I think we just all, at the moment, the way this energy is moving, we just need to keep that focus on that bigger picture that we are working towards as well. All right, next we have Nicole. Let me just unmute her. Hey, honey, how are you going? Hello, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. How's your dad? I was only thinking of you the other day. Oh, yeah, no. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, he's okay. Yeah, okay, on the road to recovery? Yeah. Good. And how it's a you bit lonely, I think. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. So, and what about yourself? How are you going? Yeah, a lot's been happening. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, a lot of different directions. I, as, yeah. Straight away, I just got the reference to you being pulled in so many different directions at the moment as well. So, so I, just, I haven't been on for a couple of weeks, but, yeah, we've been going through a lot with my husband and, yeah. Yeah, I just feel like you need to take a step back, take a deep breath and look at the bigger picture rather than what's meeting the eye at the moment. So I get the reference to it will work out okay. All right. Has he got some decisions to make? Yeah, today, yeah, we've got a big decision to make. Yeah, yeah okay, because I get the reference to he will make the right decision. Okay, so it's not what he was first thinking, but I do get the reference to he will have the um, make the right decision. Okay. okay. Yeah, he needs to communicate more. He mm. keeps things very close to his chest. Yeah. Is he is he okay though? That's yeah. I, and that's where I feel that it's the need that he needs to talk. He needs to get things off his chest. So if it's not with you, it needs to be with somebody. Or put I always say put pen to paper if you can't say those things and to write it out. But I actually feel if he sits and he writes things out he's going to find that it's going to make more sense to him. He'll get that clearer view of what's going on. All right. Did you have a question you wanted to ask? I've got so many questions. Um, <laughs> Where to start? Okay. Well, I've got two big things happening in my life at the moment. I don't know which one to go for. Whatever um, <laughs> you're drawn to. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Let's do both. Uh, let's do both. All right, let's start with my eldest son. Okay. He's going through a rough time at the moment. Yeah. Um, he opened up to us the other night in regards to his friends and stuff. We just want to make sure that he's okay. We're a little bit worried. I get he's a bright child. So to me, he's got his head screwed on. I get the reference to he's just got to stand in his own power, his own strength, and not take on their energy. So would I be right in saying others tried to um guide him in in wrong ways yes okay he just needs to remember what's right and wrong and not worry about what they think or what they how they react i get as long as he sticks to that he'll be fine so mm. i get him a bright kid he knows right from wrong but at the same time also has the strength to say no i'm not going to be involved in this Oh, no, it's just hard. Yeah, this age. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So I would also get him to communicate, make it, let him know that the doors are always open. He can come and talk to you with anything, no matter if he feels that he shouldn't have done whatever sort of thing. I just get the reference to keep the doors open with the communication. Yeah, and he'll see the the bigger picture with that side of it. Okay, is he yeah. pulling away from starting to pull away from some of those people? Yeah, all of them. Yeah, good. Because I just get the reference by removing his energy from that. It's going to make a big difference. He might feel a little bit lonely for a little bit, but in the bigger scheme of it, I feel that he, um, what's the word I want? He respects the decision he made because he knew it was the right decision. He'll meet the right people, like-minded people very shortly. Okay. It's hard, isn't it, being a parent? Because we've, we've been there, we've been through it all, but it's just yeah. hard to, he needs new friends. Yeah. But this is a big loss. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. But the, how old is he? Nearly, well, 15 and a half, nearly, yeah. Is he thinking about getting a job, a part-time job? We're looking into it, yeah. But he's heavily into his sport. It's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because my feeling is um, I, I just feel like he needs to part, like, needs the part-time job or the part-time job will come which will then create a more mature group of people for him to be around and create some good friendships in that way okay. sort of thing so that would be a good way to keep his mind busy as well but if your child's like mine mine thinks that you know mum knows nothing 
Yeah. We <laughs> didn't go through all that. Yeah, right, we didn't. So. Yeah. You know what? Um, just give me money. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I just said that to my daughter yesterday. It doesn't grow on a tree, honey. Just no. Just got ideas of things like, that She's a $100 game. Been. Yeah, $100 game. I'm like, really? Yeah. Oh, well, my daughter came out with the idea that she wants to become an entrepreneur and start her own little candle business. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. But it's like, Mum, I need money for this. I mean, I'm like, you mm -hmm. pay for something. Why don't you pay for some of it? So, yeah, they are quite funny like that. But I do feel he's going to come through it okay. He'll come through it <clears throat> for sure. Okay. Now, um, my husband, <clears throat> so we've been told today he's got 11 to 30% chance of having cancer. Right. So we've had some choices to make today. Um, I, I don't know. We're a bit up in the air with it all. So is one of the options to have a small surgery? Yeah. Okay. I do feel that he'll go down the pathway of the surgery and it'll have the positive outcome. With that. Now? <clears throat> we're thinking about not right now. I wouldn't leave it too long because my feeling is the longer they leave it, the more the cancer grows sort of thing in that side of it. So to me, I do feel like the the surgery would be more to maintain and get on top of in that way. Okay. So I don't feel like I want to say go and do it this week or, you know, early next week, but my feeling is that I want to do it sort of not very close after Christmas sort of thing. And get her over the out out the way in that side of it. Okay, because the problem that we're in is, is it's not a hunt. Look, he might not have cancer. He does have cancer, but the thing is, there's a lot of um, risks involved. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, I get low risk of cancer. So to me, um, he's on the very low end of the scale is the reference I get, but mm. I just get the reference to having it. And I feel like it's a small surgery. It's nothing major because I, to me it's the feeling of the small surgery will maintain and stop anything else from developing in that way. So, so to me it's more a maintenance type of thing. Okay. Okay. Um, do they need to run the test again? In, three, in March, beginning of March, they want to do another test. Okay, we, yeah. We, we, we made that choice today, yeah. Okay, yeah, because I just got the reference to um, running a test again. So to me, it's the feeling of backing up. My feeling is if you wait until March, the results aren't going to be the same as what they are today in that sense. So whether by correcting something before then will change that okay mm. i'm not getting warning bells go off to me it's all about maintaining it okay. right. but i'm no expert when it comes to medical stuff in that sense so. god between my dad between this between oh, look, i feel like i've broken 10 mirrors this year <laughs> yeah you're doing a lot of purging <laughs> a lot of that <laughs> detoxing but i just think i keep looking and when i'm talking to people i just get the feeling the more we're going through the bigger and the better next year is going to be. So to me, people that are being pushed to go through stuff are the people that are going to be stepping forward next year, but they're going to be the ones that are going to be supporting others to mm. lift them because we've done that hard work. So, Is there anything good for me? <laughs> Come. You're looking for no. work? Yes. Work's oh. coming. Work's coming. I want to put three days around you. So to me, it's a feeling of not having to work full time five hours at uh, five days. It's that feeling I only want to work three full days in that side, but it's going to be enough to be beneficial to to give you what you need in that okay. way. I've been looking for ages. It's just, it's hard, isn't it? Yeah, it is. My husband's the same. He's been looking since March sort of thing but um my feeling is early january so i hear 7th of january what would that mean to you what seventh, date sorry what'd you say 7th of january don't know i reckon that's i don't even know what uh, what day is that that's what i'm just thinking it's a thursday okay. so yeah keep 7th of january in mind i feel like there's something significant or the importance around the 7th of january okay Okay. All right. Try to remember to nurture you a bit as well. 
Okay. I've been walking. I've been walking four days a week. I'm trying oh, to help me. Yeah. Beautiful. Do you want to do a day for me? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I've been doing eight k's. I've gone from like oh, wow. one meter to eight k's, and oh, you know, well done. a day. I know. Yeah. Your face is glowing though. No, so as much as you feel that you you've got a lot going on and you're stressed and everything, you've got a glow to you tonight. So my <laughs> angels are around me. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Be closer than normal. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Oh, oh well, thank you, Leanne. You're very welcome. Take care and have a merry Christmas if I don't. Yeah, you too. Anymore. Thanks, honey. All right. All right. Bye. 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 Okay, I just remembered that it is Christmas next Friday. I can't believe it. So I will probably take um, a week or two off over the Christmas break as well. Um, Sarah's just asking, how do I find her website? I will put that up on the screen for you, honey. So that is my website, leannewinston.com. Thank you, Ros, for answering the questions there in the background as well. Um, beautiful. Okay, so there's a couple there with that. All right, so next we have the lovely Jen. Let's bring her up and say hello. And I'll just unmute you, honey. Hey, hon, how are you going? Hi, I'm great. How are you? That's good. Yeah, really well. Thank you. You had a good week? Not too bad. Uh, what's happened this past week? Not too much, actually. Yeah. Um, as a word of warning, I've been to a whiskey tasting tonight. So <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, yep, I'm a little person and I've... <laughs> yeah. Very highly alcoholic drinks, but uh, <laughs> I love maybe it. I, I feel like that opens up the energy. It can, it really can. So, <laughs> my husband always seems to think when I get drunk, this becomes a party joke, and I'm like, no, nah, it doesn't work like that. I know. <laughs> I don't do spirits and spirits or oh, spirits and wine. So. I like that. Spirits and spirits. Yeah, double dose. Uh, how have you been? Yeah, not too bad. Keeping fairly busy. So i um, trying to get organised for Christmas like everybody else. So I need to start focusing more on that a bit, I think. Yeah. So, and you've been pretty busy yourself? Um, yeah, it hasn't it hasn't actually been too busy of a time for me because my like Christmas isn't a huge thing for me and my family. It's more Chinese New Year. Um, yeah, so a few little bits and pieces and I, we're still trying to figure out what we're going to do on Christmas Day because we usually have a meal. Um, and my brother goes to his um, girlfriend's family like they go and see them at some stage. I think they're going to do a um a breakfast so i think we're going to do an early dinner but that means that i'll have pretty much the whole day to myself and i think that there are a few um orphans around like my friend who would usually go to canada she can't go yeah. um so i think she might want to hang out and um the planner that you mentioned a yeah. couple of weeks ago um, he is also stranded over here because his family is interstate. So, uh, yeah, there there might be a few things that, yeah, yeah I do on the day and, yeah. Yeah, be beautiful. It's going to be here before we know it, the way it's going. I know. It's crazy. When so you said um, that Christmas is next Friday, I was like, wow, that's yes. really soon. <laughs> I need to finish my shopping and wrap it all. <laughs> but be, do yeah. you know what? I will be very thankful for when the Christmas carols finish because I used to work <laughs> retail and the I can't I can't I can't do it. It's traumatized me. Like the yeah. the like just working in retail and having to listen to Christmas carols nonstop for about two months. I, I'm just like I can't I can't do it anymore. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I don't blame you. And I haven't actually heard too many Christmas carols yet. I think I'd be lucky if I've heard one. Really? Yes. Yeah, so. You haven't heard Mariah Carey. Everyone hears Mariah no. I'm surprised <laughs> my husband's not playing her because he loves playing her every year. <laughs> so. Look, as much as I don't enjoy Christmas carols, I do enjoy that song. I love that song. I don't know. Yeah. 
smile to your face and it's good fun. And... It's never going to grow old, that one, I don't think. No, no. And I think I've, I heard somewhere that she read it in about, no, she wrote it in about like 20 minutes or something like that. Oh, my goodness. That's yeah. always the good ones, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, always the things that you don't put a lot of time and effort into. You're like, wow, that exactly. really works out that's it. With my husband's family, when I first met him, he used to do this syndicate every week with the horses and we put five bucks in and if you won, you got the pick next week. If you didn't, it was the next person and then that was our way of saving up for the end of the year for Christmas time. And I knew nothing about horses that all sort of grown up with her. But I used to say if I take any more than five minutes to pick the horses, I'm not going to win. So I would pick, like, spend my $40 a week, uh, like each when it was my turn, on my bets, but I could not take any more than five minutes. So it was like, I like that name, I like that colour, I like... <laughs> I had no idea what the horses did or how to read the the, um, the form, but, you know, as long as I took five, no more than five minutes, I always seemed to win. So. Do you do you find that you're, um, you're able to tap into the energy to, like, try and... Because I've seen some things where you said that you predicted the Melbourne Cup when you were able to, like... Touch the Melbourne. Yeah, when I, um, I had the yeah. cup that year. So, and my husband said to me this year, "What's the number?" And I said, "You haven't taken me out for lunch. I haven't been able to hold the cup this year." Mind you, I don't think it came. It travelled this year like it did in the past. But yeah, it was just like as soon as I held the cup, the number twenty three came to me, and my husband just went, "You only picked that because it's your birthday." I went, "No, that's just what I heard." Sort of things. So yeah, sometimes I can. I can be really drawn to something. Yeah. Sort of thing. So and did he did he put a bet on number twenty three when you when you said no? <laughs> <laughs> I got a phone call, and of course that year I didn't even put a bet on myself. So like I got it in October, put it up on Facebook that day, and then people messaged me, and I said, oh, you know, I held the cup. I, I got told twenty three. I had a business meeting, and then I had to pick something, uh, some stock up that day or something from Blackwood. And I'm driving home and my husband rings and I'm thinking, I'm trying to listen to the bloody race to see who wins because it hadn't finished on the radio yet but had on TV. And he was watching and he was like, rah, 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 rah. and I won't repeat the language he was using. And I went, who won? Who won? He says, who do you think? I'm pissed off because I knew he hadn't put money on it. Uh, and that was the first thing. As soon as he hit the line, it was like on the phone to me. Go, ah. <laughs> so because when well, I said 23, he says, is it horse 23? Is it barrier 23? I said, I don't know. I've just been told 23. So the sceptic in him sort of started questioning everything. So yeah, which yeah. was quite funny. And he won't live it down. But I had one lovely lady that put her last $2 on it and 120 And she offered to share her prize money with me. I'm like, no, that's your <laughs> money sort of thing. So uh, absolutely beautiful. But Well, it'll, it'll teach your husband to listen to you next time. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And, of course, this year he asked and I came out with two numbers and he, he didn't like that idea either. So <laughs> I just need to go and hold the cup each year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that yeah. would be good. So, <laughs> oh, dear. And yeah, Ros is saying she picks horses um, by colour, I think it was, by colour too. Yeah. That's it. I, I pick by the colour and sometimes by the name. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. If the name if the name speaks to me or if I just think it's funny or something like that. I'm not very successful. <laughs> I think I think I'm probably at break even point. Like I, yeah. I I don't win big. I win a little bit, but probably enough over time to to even out. Yeah, nice. So yeah. hey, well that's the main thing. Um as long as you're having fun doing it. Yeah, that's what it's yeah. all about, I reckon. So, <laughs> you know, I used to like the days where you could have 50 cents each way because that would be me. You know, 50 cents of this. You could years ago when I first met my husband, like, mind you, we've been married for like nearly uh, 25 years. Wow. <laughs> um, but you used to be able to have 50 cents each way, then it went to a dollar each way. Uh -huh. So, that's when I gave up when it went to a dollar each way. <laughs> <laughs> that was too hard of work when in that money. <laughs> so, you know, it wasn't too bad to win or lose a dollar, but, um, but yeah, no, it was yeah. not my thing these days. <laughs> oh, it takes me out for lunch first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and look, I don't, 
I don't know how the people they they must just have a lot of money. The people that go and and say, look, I'm going to put five thousand dollars on this. Like I I don't know. Crazy. Even if, if I, I had abundance of money, I still don't think I would do that. I was going to say exactly <laughs> the same thing. Like. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> like it just I don't I feel like five thousand dollars could be put towards something better. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'd probably yeah. go and help people with five thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It. Like it's it's just such a like I know you have to bet big to win big, but yeah, I'm just I'm too risk adverse. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how's your house? Um Renee is coming. Yeah, so I just need to do my bathroom and stuff. Um, that probably won't be until next year now. I mean, we're only like two weeks off of next year. But, um, yeah. yeah, because I think most of the building industry um, closed down for like pretty much January. So yeah. I thought just give it a break and then I can really decide what I what it is I want to do. Um Beautiful. and yeah have to figure out a way to live without a bathroom and a toilet for <laughs> weeks camp a toilet <laughs> but who wants to clean one of those out each week not me uh, i have a friend that lives she owns a house across the road but she moved um to broom and so I, but when she was across the road, I was like, oh, that's really convenient because if I get my bathroom done, then if I need like any emergencies, I'll just knock on the door and say like, hi, I just need to, <laughs> you know, use your facilities, please. But um, yeah, unfortunately she's not there anymore. Oh, buggers. <laughs> yeah, I might have to just move somewhere for a few weeks and just. Yeah, you know, or make friends with the neighbours. Yes, yes, very true. Yes, my neighbours are very friendly, but I don't know, I, I feel like, there's a difference between, hi, I made some cookies. Like, would you like some? And like, hi, can I use your toilet? <laughs> That's it, exactly. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, yeah, dear. I think um, a motel room or something is a good idea for a bit. <laughs> Certainly yeah. sounds like a good plan. So, yeah. Um, yeah. That's it. All right, I think mean, you have a question that you'd like um, to ask. Is there anything that I can do? And I don't I don't know if you can answer this or not, but is there anything that I can do to um, better the prospects of a positive outcome for this situation that's happening at work? See what it is that you want in your mind and focus on that bigger picture sort of thing rather than all the, the nitty-gritty stuff that's going on. So see that energy moving forward. And that mm-hmm. I always say radiate that light from within so throw the love at it sort of thing because the love will outweigh the darkness Mm. usually in that side of it but um, my feeling is to stand back and watch a lot of it as well not get pulled into it at the same time because that energy should start moving very shortly is the moments i get there as well why do i want to say go fishing with you but i get the reference to uh, reap the rewards and the one is very much about new beginnings. Um, I mean, my work situation is quite terrible at the moment. Um, I'm going through, like, yeah, a, a lot of stuff and I'll probably be leaving. Like, that's what we've been talking about for many, many months, about how I exit. So, yeah, um, yeah reaping the rewards and, like, new, new beginnings. beginnings. Like, yeah, new new beginnings very much yeah. resonates with me because I've been in my job for a long time and I'm looking now for new opportunities. Um, yeah, so it's it's scary, but I'm also excited. Yeah, beautiful. So would you have entitlements built up? Okay, so there's reaping the rewards. Yeah. The ones, the new beginnings. So start, yeah. something starting quite soon. Yeah. I so. mean, it's so... Um, so I've, I'm, I'm actually, I've put in a complaint about bullying and because of the way that I'm employed, um, they can't actually stop the bullying. And so in order to stop the bullying, what they are suggesting is to just pay me to leave. So even though I'm the victim, I've done nothing wrong. Like that's, that's sort of the solution that is going to just be best for everyone. Yeah. I have entitlements built up, but they're, 
I don't see that as enough. Like I've said yeah. to them, I'm like, no, I I deserve, like I have a contract yeah. and I think you should pay out my contract because well and truly, weren't, plus, well and truly plus more. Yeah. I, I was like, if it weren't for the bullying that you can't stop, I mm. am very capable and able to fulfil the rest of my 